Welcome to the wonderful city of Belfast, Northern Ireland. The SSE Arena for the next two days plays host to the inaugural Friendship 4 NCAA Hockey Tournament. I know I'm preaching down at Sporting Occasion for Belfast. Four colleges from Boston playing for the first time ever outside of the USA for points. So big deal for Boston and a very big deal for Belfast. The Friendship Four is underway at SSE Arena. Oh, beautiful stuff, Nacolario! Well, the tournament itself is a, a really a great thing because hockey and sports in general has always been a thing in the States that brought people together. But what they did to get these teams to come on such short notice is a credit to Belfast. The mayor knew how friendly Belfast people are. And it really is, you are one of the friendliest cities in the country. One of the great pleasures for me was seeing the U.S. college team, their players go into the school system and meet these kids under 15. And they really touch each other's heart and soul this week. And I think this tournament's gonna go on for many, many years to come and bring a lot of great pleasure to people. celebrate the unique educational and sporting event that was the Friendship Four, W5 organised the Festival of STEM, which reached out to over 3,000 young people from across Northern Ireland. The aim of the initiative was to inspire and engage our young people with science, technology, engineering and maths in all of its guises, and to show them how it's relevant to their everyday lives and to thought possible future careers. As Minister for Employment and Learning in Northern Ireland, it was a real privilege to be associated with the first Friendship Four Ice Hockey Festival right here in Belfast. We know that STEM is so important to the future of our economy and through the use of sport we're finding different ways to engage people to, to think about careers and supporting our economy. This initiative really is a, an important transatlantic initiative between the United States and Northern Ireland. We had some school visits which were great. All the guys uh, participated, um, they each had a classroom or two that they went to and uh, it was just uh, uh, a, a good thing for us to be able to see um, what a school day is like for the elementary kids and they had some great questions, they were curious kids and they were good kids and, and uh, I thought that was a good experience. Being in the schools yesterday with the young kids was, was fabulous. I think our guys enjoyed it as much as the kids did. Um, you know, so I think anytime we can expose this great game to a new, a new audience and especially these young kids, hopefully it will inspire some of them to, to maybe pursue hockey. and. Uh, maybe build some more rinks here in, in Northern Ireland and, and, and get these kids out on the ice. I just think it's great to be able to, to bring our game to, to, you know, to a new audience. So uh, we were thrilled to be here uh, and, and thrilled to be in the schools yesterday. Hello and a warm welcome to game number two of the Friendship 4 series. This between Northeastern and UMass Law. Two on one. Collier loses it off his tape. Second chance on escape. The goal has been given. Off the rush. Zink for a second. Scores! UMass Law in overtime! People here are so friendly and it's such a great city to walk around. I was emailing today with coaches in our league about the city and how easy it is to walk around, how friendly the people have been, the hospitality has been first class. It's just been a tremendous experience for the kids. Well, I think you can see from the crowds that they've attracted, the number of young people who've been able to participate and see ice hockey for the first time. The reception has been very, very positive and um, I, you know, I think it's a, it's a success all around. The people have been very, very nice. It's hospitable, uh, not just the people surrounded around the Giants, around the hockey, which has been first class, but uh, just all around the city. Put a gold medal around the people of Belfast. It, this is a success, and it's on top of the people who organize this. It really is your community, your whole community, that makes everybody feel very welcome, and they want to go home and bring people back here. Friendship 4 is a massive initiative. For my part, I have supported this initiative. The legacy is powerful. The work that the Belfast Giants do on the ice is huge. We have champions in our city, but the work that they did in partnership with the other teams in our schools was unbelievably brilliant. I look forward to that initiative being repeated in 2016, 17, 18 and 19. I pledge my support. This has been our first attempt at it. It's been absolutely fantastic success. We want to grow it if it's coming. Who wouldn't want to be a part of that? We're underway in the Belport final. McGrath scores! That is quality! From a man whose name often rings from this arena. It's 40! Again comes out in front. Can they finish up? They can! 
Martin with a crucial, crucial goal. Goal of a huge deflection. Chats out in front, and the reply is swift. It was coming, and Chappie was jolly on the spot. What a finish! Oh, that's one to pump a fist at. And they've scored and leveled again. Brown have the lead. Persistence from Prizebeck. Goes back to Kaplan, lets it go, rebound, second chance, scores! The game is tied at five! We are going to penalty shots. Zink settles the put down. Fake, 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 Zink scores! Martin Aclario has to score. Aclario comes in, save! UMass Lowell win the Valpot! Their name will be forever etched in history. They take the very first tournament here in Northern Ireland.